I got a question from my last video. We're going to answer it. How do you put as much lean muscle on as possible while not putting on as much fat as possible on a muscle gaining phase? The, this is the question. The question wasn't worded, in my opinion, the best that it could be worded. So this is how I'm going to respond to this. The question was, Austin, can you make a video on how to gain muscle without bulking? So, relatively, he's saying he doesn't want to gain fat, and he wants to put on muscle. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go over my schedule, and more of, like, the rules that I... Dude, I feel like I'm getting bit out here. Dude, it's, it's 2 o'clock. How am I getting bit already? Oh, the rules that I follow. So, somebody today asked me in the gym, what are your macros looking like? So, I don't check a thing. I just eat... A good source of protein in every meal that I eat and I stay away from junk food and I know subconsciously what the macros are, are like I know if they're good or not this has around 35 to 40 grams of protein ish I don't want to know exactly how many grams every single thing that I eat has right now in my life I am enjoying not tracking I'm enjoying what I'm doing and at the end of the day what you enjoy too or what you enjoy doing is what you're going to stick to. It is what you're going to stay consistent with. If you don't enjoy it, it's going to be so much harder to stay consistent in anything in life. Damn, this is still like chunky. I did not mix this well at all. I really need to like start shaking it up. Now it's good. All right, so... So good. My schedule. What are my rules that I follow? No junk food. No added sugar for the most part. Like no Skittles, no cookies. Not, like I don't even enjoy eating it. I don't enjoy eating donuts. I don't enjoy eating any of that BS. None of that. No processed food like KFC, McDonald's, Wendy's. Popeyes, none of that. I'll have like a little here and there, but as a whole meal, I just don't feel good eating it. So I don't eat, I don't, I don't eat any of that. If you want to lean bulk, you're going to have to eat healthy. Like I have Chipotle, I'll have Kava, I'll have like Bole. These are like Mediterranean, Mexican like bowls usually that I'll have. And they have good sources of protein. So the recommended portion size for a protein serving uh a hand or a fist full so like this your fist eat relatively the size of that for each meal so like if you eat four to five times a day a fist size protein in my opinion you don't have to track calories you don't have to track macros it will help if it helps you mentally uh physically and stuff with your schedule it can help but if you don't want to, this is what I'm. This is my advice for you. Eat four to five times a day. If you can, eat five. If not, no worries. Eat four. Then try to have like a protein shake, which you know you have like fat-free milk, fruit, banana, peanut butter, and protein powder, whatever. Four to five times a day, no junk food, hella protein, a lot of carbs. It's great. Train hard. Train hard in the gym five, six days a week. Train hard hour a day, hour 15 a day. Find a routine that you like, find a routine that you stick to, and find a routine that you enjoy. Ideally, try to hit each muscle group around twice a week. I hit each muscle group a little under twice a week. It's kind of confusing to explain what my exact workout routine is. But aim for 1.5 to 2 times a week that you hit each muscle group. Push, pull, leg split. If you do that twice a week, you'll hit each muscle group twice a week. So find a workout routine that you can stick to, that you train hard with, with good form on your exercises. And sleep, 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 sleep. I cannot stress the importance of sleep any more than I already have. 
sleep at least eight hours a night. This will help all of the time that you're in the gym when your muscles are breaking down, your muscles will start growing when you're sleeping. When you're sleep deprived, you have no energy, your muscles aren't growing, you're gonna be fatigued at work, on your business, in the gym, your mindset's gonna be all messed up if you're sleep deprived. Cardio. Do at least 20 minutes of cardio a day. I did at least 20 minutes of cardio every single day while I was bulking. Do cardio. You know why cardio helps you bulk up? Because when you do cardio, it helps boost your metabolism so that when you get out of the gym or you get whatever, if you're running, whatever, once you're home, you're going to want to eat more food. Your body's going to be hungrier. It's going to be like, we need more food. So then you'll be able to eat more food after doing cardio and you'll be able to put on lean muscle so that you don't gain fat because we're not trying to put on fat. We don't want to be chubby. We don't want a face to be chubby. On a bulk, we still want to be healthy. So make sure that you're training your heart, the most important muscle in your freaking body. And it just feels good. When you do cardio, you feel freaking amazing. That's what the runner's high is for. You go for a run, you push yourself to the limit, and you just mentally feel so good about yourself for doing it. So don't skip cardio even on your bulk. Do at least 20 minutes of day. Yeah, 20 minutes a day, whether it's like the stem master, whether it's cycling, whether it's freaking walking, whether it's elliptical, whether it's running, whether it's sports. Cardio is so important, even when you're trying to build muscle. Unless you don't care about ha having any extra body fat, dude, do cardio. You're going to be so proud of yourself and so glad that you listened to me and did cardio because it will pay off. So we have our nutrition down. We have our training down. And we have our sleep down. In my opinion, that is all we need. This video should be over. Don't overcomplicate it, fellas. Train hard. Eat a lot of food, eat a lot of protein, and sleep a lot. Make sure to take at least one rest day a week. Make sure to take at least one rest day a week. Something that I wish somebody told me when I first started was that rest days are potentially even more important than the days that you're in the gym. Because if you don't give your time, your body any time to recover and relax and just not be so stressed out and constantly breaking down the muscles, like it's going to be so much harder to lift intensely. And you're going to enjoy it more. When you spend a little bit of time away from the gym, when you're in the gym, you're going to enjoy the workout session so much more. So like, even if you're bulking, rest, spend time to relax and eat food. So four to five meals a day, fist size, portion size, of protein in every meal, sleep at least eight hours a night, train like a fucking beast, do this consistently, at least three months, you will see some gains. Like and subscribe to see more videos from this channel, building muscle, losing fat, getting in better shape, improving your quality of life as a whole. I will see you next time. Peace out.